Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to teach you about what is batch processing and what is streaming processing in data engineering. Okay, so if you remember that, you know, I have mentioned some uh, some module over here and some of the chapters which includes uh, batch versus streaming data. So this is the video of batch versus streaming data and then we'll be seeing like how we can read and write a batch data it's very simple and then what is streaming and you know how to read stream data and so so i will be using over here a auto loader concept i will not gonna use a structure streaming option i mean it's a kind of a class on top of a structure streaming so i will be using auto method concept okay to to read a to read a stream data okay so first let's understand what does and when we have to use a batch processing right so you can assume that this is a very simple picture i have taken reference from the internet so you can see we have a multiple uh, stores you can see store one store two store three so we are getting data into into the sql databases and then it is a periodic query means every let's say every one hour not every one hour i would say let's say you are doing a business amazon is doing a business and they want to know at the end of the day how much they have uh, they have uh, uh, i mean how much they have got profit right so for that we will be doing a batch processing means there is a cycle periodic cycle we are running our jobs in that cycle only right and here the latency is very huge you know latency is very high i should not say huge it is very high so this is what uh, batch processing means okay now you can see when to use batch processing when you want to process large amount of data first of all usually in the scheduled or ad hoc manner okay so i know that hey i want to run i want to extract the data every uh, every day you know every day at 2 pm ist so that is a scheduled basis or maybe you know right now i want the data so i will just trigger the or i will run the job or pipeline so that i'll, I'll extract the data so that is called ad hoc manner right latency could be minutes hour or days it depends on how i mean how frequent we are you know getting the data right so maybe i want to run the pipeline once in a once in a day maybe every six hour i want to run maybe every 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes i want to run the run the uh, run the jobs and so right batch processing is a bit lengthy and is not suitable for data that is time sensitive okay so as we see as we know that hey we process a large amount of data in the batch processing right it's not only large amount like it it can be a small data also but generally uh, you know generally if it is a large amount of data and we do not have uh, any time frame then we use a batch processing right so that's what it is written over here and because batch job run occasionally it is a cost saving option so if you go for the uh, for the batch job you can save a lot of money because uh, the job will run only one time only a specific time right it will not be running every seconds every minute or every day i mean continuously right so it will run and then it will stop right the machine will get a stop so that you can save a lot of money in that right so if interviewer ask you the question hey when to use batch processing you can say uh, it depends on the business to business uh, business business to business when we want a data so if you want a data very frequent basis like in a minute or two then i would go to the uh, real time streaming data but if a user want like you know in every hour or let's say every every six hour or three hour or every day then i will go to the batch processing data okay now th this is the picture of streaming data so what is happening over here you can see the same the same set of things over here also but you can see this continuous del delivery i have written over here so what does it mean it will not stop you know it will be in a continuous manner right and process data every second you can see and this is a live dashboard now you can assume 
that uh, there is a Diwali sale happening in the Amazon or any other e-commerce website. Now, as a as a owner, you know, I am a CEO of Amazon. You can assume I want to know in the real time how much sale is going and it, it is happening uh, across the world, across the regions, and so. Uh, right so in that case I will be using streaming data so that on the fly on the fly I can take some decisions and I can change some discount offers for this act for this region and so for an example I will let me explain you in brief in detail you can assume there is a Dev Diwali festival in India okay so everyone knows that here in Diwali people give some of off off offers right to the to their customers so now you can assume like this that uh, you know a Diwali sale is happening and I want I want to know how how many users how many product are being uh, are, are being sold uh, in this uh, UP region UP is a state in India so you can UP region right now maybe there are some there are some product where people are not purchasing I mean there 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 could be some some products and so which which people are not purchasing it right then what I can do on the real since it is a real time uh, real time uh, uh, processing of data so I could know uh, on the fly and then I could change the maybe I could change the marketing strategy for that region for that product maybe I can increase the amount of that product correct I can do anything I can do some I, I can make some decision right so then I mean this is the real time example right so streaming means it will be like almost live live data only means uh, uh, fresh every time we get a fresh data right and it there is a latency of like one minute or two you can you can say <coughs> for an example you everyone watch uh, you know that IPL match or cricket match at India right so you know that you know the person who is sitting in the uh, ground uh, they can watch live but when we watch in Howard Star or you know G G Cinema and some other platform, there there is a latency of uh, like 30 seconds or you know 20 seconds like that. So that is called the streaming data actually. They are streaming regularly like 24 into 7, right? So when to use streaming data? When you want to process a small amount of data in a real time means 10 10 rows. I am going. I am passing and you know processing it data is streaming continuously 24 into 7 ideally it is 24 into 7 only latency must be roughly one minute or less now it depends on us how much configuration we have used and what is the process we i have applied to uh, to process the data and so right so this is the uh, this is the difference between these two things what i have explained you so if i make it little bit yeah now you can see this is the difference so batch means when we refresh the data uh, let's say in six hours or so and there is a too much latency when do, when when we do not want to uh, do a reporting or make a decision on the fly then we do not uh, do a, a real time streaming then we go for the batch thing but when we do some when we have to take some actions uh, on the fly right on the real time then we go with the streaming data so make sure streaming data streaming processing is very costly right and it's not like uh, for every project we go for the streaming data depends on the use case right if business requires then only we'll go for the streaming data otherwise we, we don't right so i hope that you understood it and i will share you the link of the course which i am which i am building so if you would like to purchase it you can purchase it you can get the promo code at the top right and yep thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture